don't say a thing. Don't say anything that's going to upset anyone and certainly that the establishment isn't going to like. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. NordVPN is becoming more than just a VPN. Threat protection will guard your device against malicious websites, malware, trackers, and intrusive ads, even if you're not connected to a VPN server at the time. Step up your cybersecurity and stay safe. Businesses need a platform that allows people to access and manage their office workstation from anywhere and anytime. WebConnect does just that. Our browser-based desktop platform enables you to seamlessly migrate your office into a private cloud, giving you total control of your desktop, files, and important data. It's encrypted end-to-end -end connection, making it totally secure and ensuring peace of mind for users and administrators alike. Put WebConnect to the test and transform the way you work remotely. If you want to keep up with some of the craziness that's going on in the world, then subscribe to Ryland Media's Twitter account, twitter.com slash Ryland Media. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Crypto Rich. I am joined by Una McGurk. Una McGurk is a human rights lawyer from Ireland. Now, before I introduce her, please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Crypto Rich YT. Join my official Telegram announcements channel where I post all my videos. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're not going to see the whole conversation because YouTube's a little bit sensitive and touchy. And the whole video will be on Odyssey. So please subscribe to me on Odyssey, bit.ly slash Crypto Rich Odyssey. Email sign up. You don't have to sign up, but if you do sign up, you can subscribe and follow and you earn crypto for watching videos. If you're watching this on Rumble, you won't get to see the whole thing either. So do come over and support my work at Odyssey, bit.ly slash Crypto Rich Odyssey. Hey, Una, thank you so much for making yourself available. Oh, you're very welcome, Crypto Rich. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Well, yes. And you and I, we've been rabbiting, having, was it Blarney or a Blether or whatever it is, right? For, yes. uh, for ages. Yes. Anyway, before yes. we started recording. We so, haven't been. Yes, yeah, so it's been very enjoyable so far. Fingers Thank crossed. You. Now, I introduce you as a human rights lawyer. Is that is that accurate? Do you want to say a little bit well, about Well, yes. No, of course, uh, human rights um, are very dear to my heart. But essentially, I qualified as a barrister and uh, I became a senior counsel a number of years ago. And then I moved out of private practice because I wanted to get into the area of policy and things like that. And I did some other courses and I ended up then uh, being involved in a uh, quasi-judicial work in tribunals. For example, I worked with the Mental Health Tribunal and the International Protection Appeals Tribunal Right. until recently. But right now, this minute, I'm uh, sort of retired, uh, not really by choice, but by design, and I would say not exactly my own design. Okay, okay. Now, then, how, if, I, if somebody wanted to know what you were up to currently and what you were about, remembering that we're on YouTube, <laughs> yes. What, what what would be an accurate way of representing you? Well, someone who's a qualified, I'm a qualified barrister and a senior counsel. And right now I'm doing interviews with people like you and making uh, videos on my own YouTube channel. I have a small YouTube channel. And in the last while, I've been dealing with a particular issue that concerns my own country, which is a piece of legislation that's currently making its way through the Doyle which is our, the Irish name for our parliamentary process. So I have done an interview on that. And as I said, I made a video on that. So I'm happy to tell you about that. If, yep. if you, Yeah, no, I think that, that would be great. There's the, is it the, because I know there's similar legislation in the UK being proposed, in the European Union being proposed, in New Zealand, where the government's going to be the single source of truth, right? Just like the Soviet Union and the North yeah. Korean government is the single yeah. source of truth for the people there. And then also yeah. the Restrict Act in the UK, in the US. Is it is it similar? I assume it's similar in Ireland as well that they prepare. I do know a little bit about it. Yeah, well, in many ways, as we both know, the stage was set really during COVID where the government narrative uh, took precedence over everything else. And there was no room for dissenting opinions anywhere. And I think that's very clear. It doesn't matter which side of the divide you're on. And, you know, that was the situation. Um, but whatever the government said and the various uh, ministers appointed to speak on behalf of the government, the health executives and the doctors were all singing uh, from the same hymn sheet uh, yeah. throughout the COVID process. 
those who disagreed with that, and I was one of them, essentially, you know, um, w- were silenced. I mean, I spoke at a rally, and I'm happy to tell you about that. I had a particular view on what was happening, and uh, I expressed my view, and it didn't go down well, and uh, I was effectively um, vilified, defamed, and subsequently cancelled, and lost one, and one of my jobs, one of my positions, I wasn't reappointed by the minister who was actually responsible for this legislation, which is currently being uh, brought uh, through the legislative process in Ireland. And then I ended up not being reappointed in my other position as well. It's, it's a long story. You may or may not be interested in it, but that's really how it happened. And in a sense, I would have to say that people like me were definitely made to feel that we were not wanted by the establishment because we were not uh, singing from the same hymn sheet and prepared to accept uh, in blind faith everything that came forward from our respective governments. And in my case, I was well aware that um, uh, at least three of uh, our government ministers had very, very close ties with what I consider to be a very sinister organization, the World Economic Forum in Davos. Mm -hmm. And one of them, um, the current Taoiseach, Leo Varadkar, uh, had done one of their young graduate uh, programs, and uh, this this particular organisation, whom I consider I and many others consider to be very sinister, are pushing forward agendas. And of course, it's it's axiomatic to consider that the ministers who are associated with this organisation and who travel there on a regular basis are being influenced by this organisation. I think this is not good for Irish people and the Irish media who again are totally supporting the government in every respect and are effectively just uh, promoting propaganda, have not, and it seems will not, hold those ministers or our government accountable for anything that they have done in the past, whether it's as a result of what occurred during COVID or even now uh, with regard to this legislation. Although I have to say, to some extent, there has been some uh, accurate reporting of criticism with regard to the hate speech and hate crime legislation, which I think we're going to talk about. But uh, there's a lot one could say uh, about what's happened, but I, I hope that makes sense. Yes, that does make sense. And um, yeah. a lot you, there's a lot you said in there because it isn't just the Irish media. I mean, the British media, the, the, the newspaper that brought us Julian Assange and Snowden, The Guardian, is now just a mouthpiece for yes. the establishment. And similarly with the mainstream media in the US, and I imagine also in Europe as well, they're all singing from the yes. same sheet. But yeah. I want to I want to um, I want to be a little bit mischievous with you, okay? You shouldn't be able to express your own view. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to express your own point of view. Except the flaw in that is I shouldn't be able to express my view that you shouldn't be able to express your view. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right? yeah. No. We are all um, equal under the law. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do, Una. Right, because yeah. I think now is a good time for anybody who's watching this on YouTube. You really should switch over to bit.ly slash crypto rich odyssey because hopefully yeah. on Odyssey the conversation will get a lot freer and a lot more spicier. If you're on Odyssey, we're just gonna carry on talking. Yeah. <laughs> so by the way, I, I I don't really think that you shouldn't be able to express your own view. <laughs> Here's the thing.